Hello, my name is Tiffany Glasgow with Accounting Business Solutions by JCS. Our contact information, if you should have any additional questions after this session or need any help, is 1-800-475-1047 by phone, or my email address is tiffany.glasgow, G-L-A-S-C-O, at jcscomputer.com. Our topic today that we will be discussing is year-end close procedures for QuickBooks. We will go over best techniques in closing your books for any fiscal or calendar year. To begin, here's our PowerPoint presentation. And on the right, we have our sample balance sheet that we will reference back and forth. To begin, we wanna uh, devise a set of financial compilations. The first thing we need to do when closing out the year is print out your balance sheet, profit and loss statements, and your trial balance. We want to always have a set of financials on hand before any year in adjusting. Again, to the right, we have a copy, a sample copy of what uh, a balance sheet could possibly uh, look like. A balance sheet. A balance sheet is a statement of the assets and your liabilities and capital. Liabilities and capital of a business or organization at a particular point of time detailing the balance of income and expenditure over the preceding period. Your profit and loss statement, which I do not have an example of right now, I apologize. Um, is a financial statement that summarizes the revenues, costs, and expenditures incurred during a specific period of time, usually a quarter, uh, a quarter in or a year in. These records provide information about a company's ability or lack thereof to generate profit by increasing revenue, reducing costs, or both. Now your trial balance is a bookkeeping worksheet in which the balances of all ledgers are compiled into a debit and credit credit columns. The company prepares a trial balance periodically, usually at the end of every reporting period. So basically, your general purpose of producing a, a trial balance is to ensure that uh, entries in a company's bookkeeping system are mathematically correct. Okay. You, what you want to do first is run your balance sheet as a comparative to prior year. You compare prior year totals to tax returns and prior year financial statements to check for any differences. Review balance sheets and make any adjusting entries as needed. Next, you want to check your cash accounts. To the right, you see we have petty cash, cash on hand, your regular checking account, your payroll account, and your savings account. These all should be reconciled. The cash account sits on the balance sheet. Reconcile all bank accounts through December 31st or whatever your fiscal year end is. Review all old, unclear transactions. You want to double click on each cash balance on the balance sheet. Um, customize reports if you need to, filters cleared. And make sure uh, all the, uh, I'm sorry, all of the um, accounting has been cleared, debits and credits. Um, you may need to do journal entries to reverse unclear tr uh, transactions from prior year, so your retained earnings um, will not be affected. Your accounts receivable, which is still uh, a part of your assets. We want to run the aging AR summary report and review balances. Uh, we want to enter uh, any uh, adjusting entries as of your year in or December year in, or your fiscal year in or December year in as needed. Your fixed assets, which is currently shown here under property, but under assets, you wanna review the details of these assets. Right here we see we have property, uh, we have furnitures and fixtures, we have equipment, we have vehicles. 
Uh, we want to basically review those details of the assets purchased and disposed of during the year. We wanted to verify that the appropriate depreciation dispense has been recorded for the year in QuickBooks. So we want to make any associated uh, expenses to the P&L, and we want to basically make sure we account for under assets um, any new acquisitions. Uh, any other assets that we could, that you possibly have on your balance sheet, you have prepaid expenses, employee uh, advances, any inventory. You want to review those, um, review those entries and balances and enter any adjustments as needed as well. Accounts payable. Now we're moving down into the liabilities. Under current liabilities, you'll start seeing your payable expenses, your accrued expenses, sales tax, wage payable, et cetera. We want to go into these accounts and make sure they tie back into any possible re uh, reports, customer accounts, so forth, uh, tax reports. Um, so, for instance, accounts payable, we want to run an AP aging summary and review balances under review balances, enter any necessary adjustments as well for uh, your fiscal or December year in. Also, there's a credit card payable, which I don't think that we have uh, on this balance sheet. But your credit card is payable. We want to verify all the activities that have been, have been entered uh, for the year, and you want to reconcile those credit card accounts with your credit card statements and all balances and make sure that they are correct and tie out for the year end. Payroll liabilities, as you can see, we have those to the right. We have your 401k, your health insurance, your federal payroll taxes, FUTA, FUTA uh, state taxes, and, uh, unemployment taxes, and any other taxes that could be lumped uh, within this category. So we want to review the amounts in the balance sheet and compare to the amounts in the payroll liabilities against your federal reports, Form 941 for each quarter and your W-2 for the year. In addition, it's time to review your um, 1099s for contract labor and send 1099 forms to your contractors with the income over $600. These forms, the 1099 forms and the W-2 forms are due to the IRS uh, by January the 31st, 2018. And remember, this is a hard let deadline. Loan balances. If you have any loans um, that you need to note, here's a note payable. If you have any loans that you need to review, we wanna make sure that you have any schedules that schedules tie into the uh, balance sheet and that any payments that have been paid have been expensed out and, um, and have been also accounted for in cash. So we need to make sure your schedules reconcile with your balance sheet. Any opening balance equity, remember this account is always zero. If you see that balance pop up in there, there's something wrong. It needs to be expensive. It needs to be uh, showing zero. Your profit and loss. Profit and loss. Like I said, your profit and loss is a summary of revenues, costs, and expense incurred during a specific period of time. Uh, they record information about the company's ability and then their lack of to generate profit by increasing revenue, reducing, reducing costs, and or both. We want to review postings to expense accounts, such as repairs, maintenance, office supplies for items that should be capitalized. Review salaries and wages and related payroll tax expense accounts. And please, those are different than, than your liabilities uh, that you see on the balance sheet. You want to review any negative income or expense account balances. So there should be no uh, credit balances in your um, on your p l and um, you want to compare amounts to the prior year. 
no no ex no credit accounts is in your no credit balances in your expense accounts. Sorry, let me be clear on that. You want to review. Um, uh, you want to compare amounts to prior year, and let me go back when starting um, when starting to reconcile your books for the year. You always want to make sure your beginning balances at the top of the year that you're reconciling agree with prior year. So we want to start off the the, the top of the year with the end of the year ending balances. So you want to compare those to prior year to make sure they're aligned, and review total percentages to determine if reasonable. Journal entries. A journal, additional journal entries that may be needed in your year end close including the, include the following your accruals, your prepaids, your depreciation expense entries. These entries should be expensed out on your profit and loss sheet. In conclusion, if you have any questions or need help with any year end close procedures, feel free to contact our team, or myself, Tiffany Glasgow,